morning, everybody. What a great day in Broward County and a really great day to be a Broward County Commissioner. Throughout history, the building that bound a community together and stood for what is right in our society was the county courthouse. Rich or poor, everyone went there to get his or her day in court. In most communities, everyone knows where the courthouse is and knows someone who works there. Broward County is a special community, a melting pot of young and old, vibrant families from New York to Port-au-Prince. All deserve a county courthouse of which to be proud. During his my term as mayor of Broward County, the issue of replacing the old building had been discussed, debated, and voted on for years and years. Nothing happened, lawsuits were filed, and floods and other things routinely shut down the building. I believe we needed to address our aging building and develop a plan that had broad community support. I created the Broward County Courthouse Task Force and asked my good friend, Commissioner Eileen Lieberman, to chair it. I knew Eileen would have the respect of all the political, legal, and civic community leaders who served on it. Through her hard work and the vision of many, like Senator and now Chief Judge and my friend, Peter Weinstein, we were able to take a controversial issue, vet it thoroughly, and develop a plan to build a new courthouse. I mentioned the work of Commissioner Lieberman and Judge Weinstein, and there are many more who served on the task force and gave of themselves. I want to pay special acknowledgement to three people who spent countless hours figuring a way to build a new building within our budgetary constraints. First, I want to thank the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, Jack Seiler, for speeding this process through. Without your vision, life, and leadership, this project is not be what it is today. I want to thank you personally. We have a long history together, both in the legislature and now in local government, and I want to thank you for working with us on this. But not enough credit goes to our county administrator, Martha Henry and former Assistant County Administrator Pete Corwin. Without their efforts, wisdom, experience, and a touch of humanity, we would not be here today. Thank you, Bertha. We've all owe you. 